All right. What we have here is a 172nd scale XB70 Valkyrie. High altitude, high Mach speed penetration bomber. This was built for the U.S. Air Force. The first one being built in 1964. It was designed in the late, six, uh, late 50s and early 60s uh, with North American Rockwell. A contract was signed to build 65 of these aircraft to begin with. As you can see, it's a large and very beautiful airplane and designed to fly at 70 to 80,000 feet in excess of Mach 3. Beautiful airplane, but only two were built. After being built, and after the U-2 was shot down in 1962 by the Soviet Union with their new missiles, the Kennedy administration decided to cancel the bomber, even though the contract had already been made. And that was very, very sad, because as time proved, that high of an altitude and that type of speed were effective. It's interesting because in 1964, just two months after this aircraft flew for the first time, the first SR-71 flew. And we know about the Blackbird, 32 of those aircraft were ultimately built. And they flew reconnaissance missions over Russia, the Soviet Union, all the way to 1990 when they were finally retired. They only traveled a couple of 300 miles an hour faster than this aircraft and at about the same altitude. Not one of them was ever locked up and, of course, shot down at all. So this plane could have been a real answer to United States uh, strategic bombing needs at the time. In fact, my own belief is if we had built 65 or 100 of them, they'd still be flying today. The B-52s that they were meant to replace are still flying today. This plane was designed to carry the same load as a B-52, but much, much faster and much, much higher. And uh, the compression lift that it used with the intakes that it had allowed it to do some amazing things. This model uh, is from Atalari, and it's a uh, well-done model. <clears throat> It's a very big model, as you can tell. At any rate, two of them were built, sadly, in 1966 during a photo op, and there's a video of this online, uh, during a photo op with a number of uh, U.S. fighter aircraft, an F-104 Starfighter was near the... Uh, end of the wing. These wings out here, when it gets up high altitude, they fold down at high altitude and airspeed uh, to maximize the lift and the stability of the aircraft. But a vortex of wind comes off of them and it uh, flipped the F-104 over and it impacted the vertical stabilizers and uh, both airplanes crashed. One of the pilots in this aircraft was killed. The other survived. The fighter pilot also died. It's a sad day. This airplane, which is the first one, 2001, continued on testing until 1969. Oops, I'm going to turn it over and show you the bottom side of the aircraft. <clears throat> there she is. It's a beautiful airplane, I got to tell you. Six large jet engines on the aft end of this thing propelled it at the speed it was designed to fly at, and it did it very well. Let me turn it back over now. Let me turn this thing back over. Let's see if we can do so without damaging it at all. There we go. So, there you have it. This is, as I say, the XB-70 
Valkyrie high mock high altitude penetration bomber built for the US Air Force canceled by the Kennedy administration if you ever have the chance and I have it's it's well worth your time if you're ever in Ohio go to Wright Patterson Airfield in the museum there and you will see this airplane there on display it's well worth your time to see it's an amazing sight thanks for watching